Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and today I'm going to be talking about events and Scratch, which is an event-based programming language. So what does that mean? Basically, that means that Scratch, or really the browser, which is where Scratch is running, is constantly listening for and waiting for events to occur. So as an example, most of you, when you start your projects, you click on this green flag. So clicking on the green flag is an event that the browser, in this case Google Chrome, is waiting for and can react to. So right now it's not doing anything when I click on the green flag because I don't have any code telling the sprite what to do when that event occurs, but I could easily write some code by going over to the events palette and bringing out one of these hat blocks. And we call these hat blocks uh, hat blocks because they look like little hats. Um, and you can't add any code on top of a hat block. You'll see that up here, you can't connect anything to it. So hat blocks are usually the start of scripts, which are blocks of code that have like certain instructions or an algorithm that the sprite is going to follow. So in this case, what I want this, the character to do when the green flag is clicked is I want it to move forward 10 steps. So I can go back over to the motion palette and just have him move 10 steps whenever that event occurs, whenever the green flag is clicked. And so this hat block could also be called an event listener because it's listening and waiting for that event to occur. And when it does, any instructions that are connected to the hat block and that make up the script are gonna be followed by scratch. So I'm gonna click on the green flag and you'll notice that the cat is moving 10 steps forward. The next event that I want to talk about is when the space key is pressed. So that's another common event that most students or teachers use when they want a character to move around. But instead of using the space key, sometimes they use the up, down, right, left arrows. So let me use the up arrow. So right now when I press the up arrow, nothing happens because I don't have any code attached to this event listener or hat block. But when I go over to the motion palette, I can have it change its Y position by 10. So now, when I press on the up arrow, you'll see that the cat is moving up. If I press on the green flag, the cat will move forward, and, uh, and that's exactly what we have written here. You can just easily read this and understand what the code is doing. And then the last event that I wanna share today is when the sprite is clicked. So in this, with this event, we can click on the sprite, and the browser in Scratch can detect that and can do something. So we are going to make the cat say hello when it's clicked. So when this sprite is clicked, when I click on the, on, the, on the sprite, it's going to say hello for two seconds. And that's because this character, this sprite, is waiting for that event to occur. The event being when this sprite is clicked, or when the up arrow key is pressed, or when the green flag is clicked. Now hopefully that made more sense and made events a little bit easier to understand. And I'll see you in the next video.